patience, persistence, and perspiration is an unbeatable combination for success. That's actually a quote by the one and only Napoleon Hill. I can't take credit for that, but I do wanna take credit for this video today, because today we're gonna to talk about how you can design and grow rich. This is Think and Grow Rich, Graphic Design Edition. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Hey guys, this is Adrian Boisel, and welcome back to another training video. Today's video is of how you can design and grow rich. I've been able to accumulate a lot of revenue, a lot of wealth in multiple ways from my financial relationships and even my physical health and wealth. And I wanna be able to share some of these things with you to help you in your career. So I'm gonna give you 10 tips today on how you can actually design and grow rich. Based on the book, Think and Grow Rich. So these are gonna be 10 principles that you can use in your daily life. Some of these things you're gonna to need to write down. So get a pen and paper, let's dive in, and let's have some fun. The first tip, to design or think and grow rich is you need to have a burning desire. That burning desire for me was to just live a completely different life of my parents and the way I was brought up. Many of you guys know I came from a very abusive household. And so for me, my mission, my vision for life is to help other people that have gone through the same things that I've gone through, overcome all the adversities in their life. And so what I wanted to do, my initial goal and mission was just had a burning desire to change my life. I'd found myself in jail and I knew that's not where I wanted to be. And so I made a conscious decision to do a 180 and go after changing my life for the best and making my life the best life it could possibly be and designing my future. And so that's the first lesson I wanna to give to you guys is you need to have a burning desire for something, whether that's being the best graphic designer in the world, the highest paid graphic designer in the world, the best designer for the nonprofits, the most famous graphic designer, whatever that looks like for you, maybe you just want a different life. Maybe you just wanna get away from a nine to five. Whatever that looks like, you need to have a burning desire, that fire in your belly that is gonna fuel you to never ever stop. And that leaves me to point number two. A thought can have powerful outcomes. One thought, one idea like changing the trajectory of my life ended up actually changing the trajectory of my life. I was going where all the statistics said I should have gone and because of the thought that I had in my mind to do things differently than my family, I was able to create a life that I'm so proud of, that I'm so grateful for, that has led me to being able to do videos for you guys. So it's really important that you actually take action on that thought and we're gonna talk about that here in a minute, but you gotta have that thought. What is it that you want to see change in the world? Are you gonna use graphic design to help businesses? Are you gonna use graphic design to help youth? Are you gonna use graphic design to help your own life? You need to start off with that one thought. What is the one burning desire that you can do that you can go out and take action on? Tip number three is you need to have faith. This isn't a religious talk. This isn't about Christianity or atheism or anything like that. This is purely about faith. You need to believe, like my daughter believes in me, you need to believe in yourself that you can accomplish this thought. You can accomplish this burning desire that you have. If you don't believe that, like my hair is red or my beard is red, if I don't believe that, it's never going to happen. And so you need to actually believe and have faith in yourself or in a higher power that that person or that entity or you are actually gonna make that happen for yourself and for your life. The fourth tip that I have for you guys today, and this is a big one, is you need to become a specialist. You need to be the most sophisticated, the most talented, the most advanced, the most knowledge, all the things that you can do to sharpen your ax in your field. So if you're a logo designer, you need to go out there and become the best damn logo designer that you can. If you're a graphic designer and you're doing print design, you need to be the best dang print designer that you can. Become a specialist. They say that the riches are in the niches. I always mess that up, but it's really important that you have a specialty, that you are a specialist in something. Henry Ford was a specialist in the assembly line, helping make cars. And that knowledge is what created Ford, which all of a sudden revolutionized the automaking world. And so he was a specialist. He figured out actually how to make the cost to produce a vehicle cheaper with the assembly line. So in your business, you need to become 
become the specialist, become the absolute expert in your field, just like I'm doing here. I've learned how to crack the YouTube code and get hundreds if not thousands of views on a YouTube video and growing a channel, and I can share that now with you guys. I can share my graphic design skills. I am a specialist in multiple areas, but I've put a lot of time in practice, and that's what it's gonna require from you. If you're gonna become a, a specialist in something, it's gonna take day after day, week after week, year after year of you practicing and getting those reps in. Nobody becomes a specialist in overnight or over in a week or even a month. You have to be able to be looking at this from the long-term perspective and be dedicating your time and your practice every single day. And number five, this is the fifth tip and this is a big one. Your imagination is powerful. And I think that's one of the gifts that God's given me is I have a really wild imagination, ideas of building communities, ideas of putting people on stage, ideas of actually having huge speakers in the world be sitting in an audience while I'm speaking life to them for the, to encourage them to go out and speak life over the world. Because a lot of these thought leaders in the world, the Les Browns, the Tony Robbins, all these guys, they have massive reach and influence. And if I can encourage them to help our future generations, help people like you, they're anywhere from the ages of 12 to 30, that is exactly what I wanna inspire them to do. So you gotta have a big imagination. You gotta think big, you gotta think out of the box. Don't just fall into the box and just do what everybody else is doing. You wanna stand out, do something different, do something that's authentic to you. So imagination is really, really important. The sixth tip that I have for you is you gotta be a decision maker. You gotta make decisive action. They say in the business world, you gotta hire slowly and fire quickly. It's important that you make decisions quickly. You're gonna make mistakes. If you overthink it and you try to get everything perfect, you're gonna struggle along your career. I want you to actually move faster than you even realized that you could. Don't make hasty decisions, but make quick decisions. Do your research, get educated, and just go with your gut. It's really important for you to go with your gut. A lot of people just try to get everything perfect before they launch or before they do something. It's not about being perfect. Done is better than perfect. So I want you to make a decision, I want you to take action, and I want you to follow your gut, follow your heart on this, because this is what's gonna really bring you the big outcome that you're looking for. The seventh step and the seventh tip is implementation. This is an area that I've always struggled with in terms of myself. I'm great at doing graphic design. I'm great at doing planning and strategy. I'm even great at even dealing with the clients, but there are areas along the operational side that I'm just not strong in. And so there are different pieces of being a business owner, whether you're a freelancer or any kind of business owner, you got your operations, your sales, your fulfillment, your marketing, and your uh, finance. These are big areas, right? You can't be an expert in all these. So you need to implement the things that you know how to do and take action on those things. And you need to go find people that are experts and specialists in their field to implement the areas that you're not strong in. This is a really big deal for people they really struggle for implementation and they try to wear too many hats as you know I wear a lot of hats you see them in my videos and that's a slight joke but I'm being serious like a business owner has to wear tons and tons of hats and the more you realize you need to hire people for the hats that you're not strong in and hire those specialists the faster you're gonna see success so I want you to start implementing these ideas these visions these plans and you have to write them down this is a big piece of think and grow rich once you read this book I need you guys to read it it's gonna change your life you actually have to apply this stuff. You have to go out there and say it. You gotta read it to yourself every single day, but these are really big important steps on the implementation side. Number eight, and this is one of my favorite pieces, is winners never quit, and quitters never win. It's one thing to see an idea and to start moving down the road and to make a pivot, but quitting and walking away from it is not gonna help anybody. You need to take those failures, you need to take those lessons, and you gotta keep going. You're gonna run up against speed bumps, you're gonna hit walls, you're gonna run against challenges, you're gonna have nightmares, you're gonna have problems, you're gonna have failures. There's all kinds of stuff that you're gonna run into. You can't stop. You gotta keep going. And if you feel, you're feel you feeling discouraged, then come back to this channel and watch any of my other videos, and I promise you, I will inspire you, I will keep you going, and you can reach out to me personally. That is the power of having community. And that is what I'm trying to build. The Instagraphics Pro Network is community. It's a place that if you're feeling down, if you had a loss, if you had a failure, you did something wrong, you can come and be transparent with us about it. We're not gonna judge you because we've all been through it. Trust me, I've made tons and tons of mistakes and I got a lot more ahead of me, but this is an area where you can actually get some accountability and get help so you don't repeat those same mistakes over and over again. But you gotta remember, Quitting is not gonna give you the outcome you want. You gotta keep going, you gotta be persistent, right? Which leads me to tip number nine, and that's don't be afraid to fail. Here's the reality. The people that are the most successful in the world, I wanna say this twice because it's super important. The people that are the most successful in the world 
have failed more than anybody. That's a truth. That's not just something I'm guessing. I know for a fact. People like Steve Jobs, people like um, Russell Brunson, all these people that are out there right now that have huge amounts of success, it's because they are not afraid to fail. I'm not afraid to fail. You know how many times I've failed? At some point, you gotta just be comfortable with being uncomfortable. You gotta be comfortable with the possibility of failure. I might launch this channel, I might hit 100,000 subscribers, I may never grow. My channel may go down from here, I don't know. But I know I'm gonna give it my best, I'm gonna keep going, I'm gonna keep adding value, I'm gonna keep delivering as much value as I can to my audience and to the people that I care most about in the world, and I know it's just naturally gonna grow. But you can't be afraid to fail. I'm gonna have videos where I screw up. I have videos where I have bad audio. There's things that's going to happen along your journey. You have to just keep going. You have to roll with the punches. You got to be like water on a duck's back and just let it roll off of you and keep rolling. So don't be afraid to fail. It's going to happen. Successful people fail. And in fact, successful people fail more than anybody else. The last tip, and this is a big one, and this is a kind of a drum roll, is you got to get into a mastermind group which is the Insta Graphics Pro Network. I'm gonna keep talking about it. It's on Facebook. All you gotta do is search it, make sure you answer all the questions. You gotta get yourself into a mastermind group. We are building a community of masterminding, of growth, of accelerating your career, your business, your relationships, your even your health. We're trying to create well-rounded, three-dimensional designers, people who are focused on their health, wealth, and relationships, and putting yourself in proximity, like I've talked about in other videos, is gonna help you really move your life forward in a significant way. So those are the 10 tips. Those are the big things that you need to be thinking about, things that I'm implementing into my own life. I've written down how much money I wanna make, when I need to have it by, what I'm gonna do in return for that money. These are all important pieces. And when you write all that down, document it in Google Docs or on that sheet of paper that you have that you've been writing on, taking notes, then you wanna print it up, put it in your shower and read it to yourself twice a day. Put it in your bathroom mirror, put it in your car, make multiple copies, and you need to read that thing at least twice a day. This is what's gonna help you have a higher chance of success and actually reaching the goals and the dreams and the aspirations and the really desires of your life. So that's what I'm out here to do. Please drop a comment, introduce yourself. And if this is your first video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the like button. It helps with the algorithm. So thank you guys so much for watching. Look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. I'm Adrian Boisel, and as always, keep looking up.